Bulgaria says no, and they seem confident of their allies. These allies you speak of, are they in the room with us now? Hello everybody, my name is Yojimbo XD, and welcome to the channel. And today we're back with more Hearts of Iron 4. I wanted to go for two more achievements today as Turkey and reform the Ottoman Empire to get nobody's business but the Turks and we're putting the band back together. So not only will we have to reform the empire, we'll also have to recreate the central powers. But before we get into the video, if you are new here and you like this kind of content, if you could hit the subscribe button, it would really help me out. And this was a suggestion over on Twitch, so if you have something you'd like to see, you can always stop by over there. Links are in the description. All right, let's get into the video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Just like I said, we'll be continuing our quest to get every achievement in the game. I think I'm starting to go slightly mad trying to get all these done. Yeah, like I said, we are back here today. We are going to be playing, as I said in the, the start, as Turkey. Yes, we'll be trying to bring back the Ottoman Empire, I believe is the plan, and we will try and bring back the Kaiser and the Austro-Hungarian Empire and try and bring the boys back together. But today we're going to be playing one of those runs that happens to be very luck based, very RNG based. And it's just going to be one of those days where we're just waiting for the coins to flip in our favor. I Basically, we're relying on four coin flips to go our way in a row to get this achievement to work, which I'll explain as we go through it here. So I think it's easier to show and not tell. So I think we'll get into it and I'll explain as we go. We have historical focus off and we have Iron Man mode on. So let's get into it. But yes, here we are in Turkey, and I wanted to impress everyone with some cool turkey facts, and I just googled what is turkey famous for, and I kid you not, the first thing that came up was hot air balloon rides. So yeah, here we are in Turkey, famous for its hot air balloon rides. All right, and we have our first spy from our spy agency, and the first thing we're going to have him do is go suppress the Kurds. We'll invite them to be part of our kind of democracy later, but for now, I think we need to just suppress them. Sorry guys, democracy will come later, I swear. All right, there goes German Civil War. Did Hungary do what we need them to do? They did. I did this like five or six times in practice and it took many attempts before they finally did it. And for us, we want to bring back the Sultan. So we want to go down this left-hand side of the focus tree. So that's what we're going to do. We will trust that our friends, the Germans, can win their civil war and put the Kaiser in charge. That is the, the third thing we need to happen now. All right, we're going to invite the Italian scientists. We're going to learn the secret of their fiats and spaghetti. And we're going to get the silent workhorse for extra political power. We'll have a lot as Turkey, but we're going to need even more. Sad a bad pack. We're going to do the sad a bad pack. Try and get Iraq, Iran, and Afghanistan and a non-aggression pact. Come on, Germany. I know you can do it. Don't mess up this run for me. But I believe in you, pal. I'm not going to send you any guns, but, um, you know, uh, thoughts and prayers. All right, Iran signs the pact, Iraq signs, and Afghanistan signs. All right, so we don't really have to worry about our eastern flank too much. Might have to worry about the Soviets, but I think we're okay for now. But we do unlock this, the supermarket of decision trees. My recommendation personally is nationalism if you're needing to bump up your economy to at least partial mobilization. So actually, we're going to take some of that. We're also going to take some republicanism since we want stability, which we're going to need, and unaligned support. So we get both of that for pretty cheap. And if you feel like you need the extra manpower and maybe want a little bit of extra political power boost, popularism is not a bad choice either. The rest of these I don't really bother with, honestly. Yes, Hungary has put their Habsburg in charge, so that's a good sign. Germany still needs to finish their civil war, but we'll continue our focus. The good thing about this run is if you don't get them to do the focuses right away, it is pretty easy to reset. Like I said, the first 70 days, you should be able to tell what they're going to do. While we are suppressing some minorities right now, we do need to cooperate with them in the future. So we're going to open up our democracy a little bit, but don't worry, that's just a ruse. We're secretly bringing back a man with a fez. All right, the German Civil War is over. Hopefully they put the Kaiser in charge. Here comes another one of those coin flips we talked about. And yes, during the trial, we're going to offer amnesty so we don't make people too mad. We want to keep the traditionalists on our side. So we'll just make the Kurds mad. They're already mad at us. What else are they going to do? All right, election day is here. We want the Democrat Party or the DP, the traditionalists. Now we have a man leading 
our country who looks like a waiter who's just come to your table when your mouth is full and is like, can I get you anything? But anyways, let's go see if we can steal some land from the French. And there we go. We bullied France into giving us this piece of Syria here. Damn it, Germany. It went the wrong way. That's one of the coin flips we didn't get. So I will be back with you in a moment. All right. I don't see Germany with the democracy focus. So I think they finally went the other way. Yes, they did. They switched to the German empire. Thank goodness. That took several attempts. And we are gonna steal some of their scientists. Congratulations, you finally did the focus. Now give me your scientists. Some of our other rival political faction, they're going around making trouble, so we can just go around arresting them. Get out of here. We wanna go backwards already. Stop trying to bring us into the 21st century. We want a sultan. We long for the days of the onion head hat. Greece is justifying against us. Probably have to do something with my army. They've just been sitting here the entire time. But hey, thanks for spicing it up, Greece. I appreciate that. Oh, we are gonna have a civil war. Ooh, I did forget about that. Mm. Oh, what's the matter, Greece? You back down, coward. Or if you're not in a faction by the time I flip and have my little civil war, I'm coming for you. Uh, yes, but purging the officers here will start the civil war. So let's get that out of the way. Shouldn't be too bad. But dang, Greece, had you actually timed that a little bit better, that would have actually been a pretty terrifying declaration of war. Yugoslavia is getting gobbled up, but France is also helping. So this should be interesting. The little entente. All right, this civil war is here. Our country is split up into three little sectors, which actually makes it easier on us. All right, we have all our units here and we're just gonna quickly rush them in. This should be a pretty quick civil war. Uh, yes, and now we have a choice. Do we want to go down democracy or we could go down our old path and bring back the Ottomans, which we're gonna do. Yep, Greece had a civil war. It's probably why they decided not to attack me. And we'll just walk around their lines where they're not at. And there we go. Once we took Istanbul back and we had all the little provinces cleaned up, it was pretty easy. Now we just need to finish the focus and we should get the achievement. Also, we can hire our old allies back and give them positions in the government. Ah, nepotism. So fascist Greece lost their civil war and it's just back to democratic Greece. Uh, Greece is justifying on us again. That's okay. I want to have this fight. Here comes Greece. Oh, masterfully done. They've declared war on the entire little Entente as well. Well, this should be a quick war. Hopefully I can at least get the core states out of them. Greece over here with the galaxy brain plays, declaring war on everyone. All right, let's just smash through their one cavalry division with my entire army. Oh, I can join the little Entente, no. Thanks, little Entente. I appreciate the offer, but I don't think I need your protection from Greece. I think between the two of us, we'll just slaughter them. The whole army moving forward now is one unit. It's actually a fairly rare sight to see that many units stacked intentionally in one area. Uh-oh, Greece has joined up with Bulgaria, Albania, and Italy. Uh-oh, got naval invaded by Italy. Why didn't that warn me? Oh, because they started off that area. Oh. Well, got to clean this up now. They seem eager to throw their troops away here as we continue to surround them because I forgot about this little piece of Italy here. Yeah, Italy's not gonna be long for this earth, so. I think now it's just all about getting war participation score here. Might be able to encircle some Greek units up here. Ooh, America wants to give us some unlease. Yes, I will take your guns, thank you. Can always count on America for guns. All right, making steady progress in Greece again. Still worried they're gonna call Bulgaria in any moment. There we go, Greece is done. Here we go, got the last piece of Turkey. And Italy exploded into a civil war. Well, I think Italy's dead. I won't need to naval invade them. All right, well, that answers that question. Uh, let's see what we can get. I wanna make sure these little islands can't be used to attack me anymore. Well, we got what we wanted, plus a little bit more. We got our territory back, plus our wars that we'll get later in a focus tree, so I think that's good enough. And we didn't even have to go to war with Bulgaria. Alrighty, there is the end of the peace deal, and we still haven't finished our focus yet. Oh man, Yugoslavia and Italy. I just noticed that. I guess they got it in the peace deal and they puppeted it. I don't know how they got that much war score, but good for them, I guess. Uh, and now Yugoslavia is breaking apart. They're like, well, we got Italy, time to explode. And there we go, the Sultanate is reborn and there's our achievement. Nobody's business but the Turks. Nobody's business but the Turks. Restore the Ottoman Sultanate. So there we go. There is the first achievement for the night. We can get war goals against Greece again. Should we just clean up the rest of Greece? Sure. 
Well, I appear to have my troops stuck here because when the war ended, they pieced out and somehow ended up over here where there is no ports to get them off and I don't have access through them. So the only way to get my troops back is to declare war on them. All right, we're going to attempt to rejoin the central powers, but while we're doing that, we're also going to improve relations with Germany. So we have the best chance of them accepting. So I do believe it is based off how much they like us. Give me my troops back. There we go. And I don't have to share that with anyone. And that is Greece done with. We just hope Germany now accepts our invitation to join the Central Powers. And there we go. Germany has accepted our offer to join the Central Powers. So now we just need Austria-Hungary to join the party. Now we're trying to align Bulgaria. So they didn't stab us in the back, so they're alive long enough now in this playthrough. So we might be able to get them to join us. Bulgaria says no, and they seem confident of their allies. These allies you speak of, are they in the room with us now? And let's attack them now when they're off their border. Aren't I a stinker? Yeah, they have border forts here. Man, this would actually be terrifying if they were actually manned. There we go, getting all their units trapped now. There we go, got Bulgaria, didn't need any help. And we'll just annex everything. As I said, this is completely random. The fact that I've gotten this far this early is a, frankly a miracle. And why not? We're gonna make it primogenitor again. We're gonna have the Sultan's son take over when he dies. Okay, they just went to war with those guys and they're gonna get stomped. We have to go help them. This was probably one of the worst things that could have happened. Oh God, please, I need a war goal on them now. We need to bring Germany in and help them. Ah, and they gave us Syria without a fight. Um, damn it. <laughs> oh, I can't get them into a faction, no. <laughs> I can't even send them equipment. Just helplessly sitting here, I can't do anything. Germany, please do something. Help our friend. They're massacring them. I do, I do have a focus that I can get to war with. They just need to survive for 140 days. Oh, God damn it, you went after the wrong people, Germany. You stupid bastards. Yeah, you really need to hurry up and finish off Poland there, Germany. Hey, there they go. I don't know how they triggered it and joined it, but we're putting the band back together. Holy crap. That was, thankfully, that was fortunate. I, I don't know how they stayed alive or why they just joined. Somehow when Germany beat Poland, Austria-Hungary automatically joined us, which means we're probably gonna get involved in this war here. So let's do it. Let's do the achievement first. We're putting the band back together. As Turkey being a faction with Germany and Austria-Hungary. So yeah, I'm, I, I, dude, this run has been wild. We're about to get into a huge war with the Little Entente. So let's do that. Also the Soviets, maybe. Let's try and save them. We are putting the band down together. No man left behind. Let's get in there. Germany, why aren't you helping our friend? Here we go. Call them all. And they're off our border immediately, so we can, let's take advantage of that. Try and sneak up as much land as quickly as we can here. All right, that is Romania down. Let us clean up these pockets here and make sure they can't escape. You know, I don't trust the Soviets over here or Iran to defend their own line. So we're gonna send the Iraqis to defend Iran. Oh man, that is a statement you probably will never hear in real life. All right, they're just letting me encircle some of the units. Ah, now the Soviets have just joined in. Well, we knew this was coming. We fair was not expecting a naval invasion from them. Here we go, got them all encircled. They're about to lose this port. There we go, that's a nice encirclement. Honestly, once we get this border cleaned up, I think we're gonna go out, change our focus and go after the Soviets. All right, there goes Serbia. Ah, I'm getting naval invaded. By who? Nationalist Spain. And Germany's already doing the encircling for me. The Balkans have been cleaned up. I think we should go actually focus on the Soviets. They're more immediate threat to us. We're gonna go through the Caucasus, go for their soft underbelly, try and steal their oil fields. Get out of Greece. You weren't invited. There we go. And another naval invasion down. Let's check the war casualties. Woo, they're already doing terrible. Oh geez, I thought France was part of them. They must have bailed before the war started. Hmm, smart of them. Well, that means it's just Italy and the Soviet Union. And yeah, we're gonna go after the Soviets. And there we go, we just linked up with the Austro-Hungarians. It's just literally trying to get troops over there. That's fine, we're sort of ready for them at this point. And more Spanish troops got encircled. God damn, Spain, get the hell out of here. I'm just gonna put my navy up. Oh, Britain is communist. They want Syria. No, what are you gonna do? Join the communists and die with the rest of them? Okay. Oh, they declared war on Belgium. Hmm, interesting choice. Ah, now they declared war in France. So now are they gonna be at war with us and France? God, I love the place tonight. This has just been pure anarchy. I'll be taking those oil fields. All right, the caucuses are cleaned up. Let's finish them off. Oh yeah, they have like no troops over here. Just run. 
Oh, and we can also core all this stuff we got. So let's do that. We can core all of Macedonia, Greece, Albania, Serbia. Let's do that. And we get the French Middle East, so Syria. Let's core those as well. We need the manpower now. Oh yeah, there we go. 60,000 more manpower. That's what I like. That's gonna last us to the end of this war, which shouldn't be that much longer, at least with the Soviets. We'll have to finish the Italians, but it's going well, but I'm having fun. You know what? That's what I could use at the end of this run. It's like a nice little reward where things are finally going my way. I thought this whole run was screwed so many times. It's been a roller coaster. Uh oh, France is getting invaded. Link up with Iran's other side. Goodness, I have so many factories at the moment. France is dead. There we go. Soviet Union is finally dead. And we don't necessarily have to help in the war with the UK. All right, now that we've finished with the Russians, I think we can try and help finish up the Spanish and the Italians, and that will end the war for us, and we can see what we can get out of the peace deal. And as you can see, we're doing much better than they are on casualties. Just keep walking around their lines. And there we go. Now the war is over. Well, there we go. There's the New World Order. Couldn't get Bosnia because they wouldn't let me have it for some reason. But this is where I think we will leave it off for tonight. We got the two achievements we set out to do. I wish I could say I had a lot of fun doing this, but honestly, it was really dried my patience. It took probably about a dozen restarts between recording and practice, waiting for the AI to choose the correct focus tree path. This is probably the most random achievement that I've tried at this point. It's not really so much skill based as it is just restarting and knowing what you're looking for. This was suggested to me over on Twitch, so if you like what you saw, you can always check me out over there. And if you're watching this back on YouTube, thank you so much for watching this to the end. If you like what you saw, you can always hit that subscribe button down below. All right, have a great night, everyone. 